In this Docwatt quick video, we're going to look at some applications of the Pythagorean theorem. Here's what we know. If we've got a right triangle, any right triangle, then there's a relationship between the, the two legs of the right triangle and the hypotenuse. That is that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Okay, now here's the first application. Suppose that we have two points in the Cartesian coordinate plane. Let's say one of them is x1, y1, that we know those coordinate values, and the other one is x2, y2. And we look at this line segment between those two. Now there's a, a triangle here that we might not be seeing. Suppose that you take a, a line parallel to the x-axis and, and this other line parallel to the y-axis, then sure enough there's going to be a right angle right there. Now let's examine this intersection point. The x value of that point is told by the right-left position and it's going to have the same right-left position as this point. So its x value is going to be x2. Its y position is told by the up-down value, and it's going to have the same y value as that point, so it's going to be y1. That means that we can tell this distance right here the length of that segment because it's going to be this ending x value minus this beginning x value. Similarly, the y, this length of this segment, can be told by this ending y value minus this beginning y value. So now we've, if we wanted to look at a relationship between these three sides, we could see that x2 minus x1 quantity squared, the length of this side squared, plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared will be equal to c squared. Okay. That means that c would be equal to the square root of that x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. In other words, the length, the distance between these two points is given by this formula. It's, a dis it's what we call the distance formula. And that comes from the Pythagorean theorem. Let's look at one more application just real quickly. Suppose that we are thinking about a circle. And the circle is centered at some point. We'll call that center point, HK. And it's got some radius, R. So I'm thinking about this circle here. Okay. Now associated with any point x, y on this circle, then there's going to be this radius from the center out to that point, and we could think about this line parallel to the x-axis, this line parallel to the y-axis. This intersection point, from the same kind of reasoning, is going to have the right-left position is going to be given by whatever that x was, the up-down position is going to be given by this k. So this length right here will be given by x minus h. And this length of this leg will be given by y minus k. Okay. So now there's a relationship between these three sides. It is that x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is going to be equal to r squared. 
and that's the formula for a circle. Okay, so both the distance formula and the formula from the circle come from the Pythagorean relationship. Okay, that's the end of this uh, Doc Watt quick video. Thanks for watching.